We have four wards, odd number wards, that we're going to be announcing, and each have a four-year term. And uh, we have one incumbent in the fifth ward, but we have the first and third ward, which will be introducing. And uh, Barney Maloney from the seventh ward will not be able to join us tonight. for three positions, and they are four-year terms. And there is one position that is a two-year term that is going unopposed. So Mark, would you like to? We have the envelope, please. These are very <laughs> So, for um, Park Ridge, just uh, Park Ridge Niles School District 64, the first candidate to speak will be Mark Aikman. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight. Um, thank you, Republican Women of Park Ridge, for hosting. Um, my name is Mark Eggeman, and I'm currently an account executive with the CoStar Group. I live over in the Roosevelt neighborhood with my wife, Char, and my three boys, Christian, Ty, and Will. Um, let me first say that I love our schools because I am a product of those schools. Um, I attended Jefferson, the old Emerson, before they knocked it down, and I am a graduate of, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Maine South. I understand how important a great education is to our future. When I was at Jefferson School in 1978, I had the great fortune of being mentored by a truly great teacher named uh, Mr. Hebel. Before I met Mr. Hebel, I was an average student. My best class was recess. <laughs> but Mr. Hebel, he changed all that. He saw my potential, he held me accountable for everything that I did, and he taught me to work hard, and he taught me to believe in myself. He's a major reason I've had some successes in my life, and he's one of the reasons I'm up here tonight. Having said that, I'm also a homeowner and a taxpayer, so I understand how important it is to make, <clears throat> make sure that our school district provides measurable value to the taxpayer. Our school district must respect taxpayers. But just this year, District 64 raised the school levy by 4.6%. This is in line with their consensus goal of getting as much revenue as we can. To me, that's a strange way to respect the taxpayer. The way I see it, the consensus goal should be to do more with less. Our schools are a major reason why people move to Park Ridge and stay here. For this to continue, District 64 cannot settle for being one of the highest spending districts without also being amongst the highest achieving districts. Our school board must also provide complete transparency in everything that it does. This is how we build consensus to strike the right balance between investing in our students and respecting the taxpayer. So here are some ideas I have on transparency. One is to provide a website portal with all the district's financial information for public review and comment. Second. I'd like the board to adopt the policy of discouraging any closed door meetings. Closed door meetings are permitted, but are not required by the Illinois Open Meetings Act. Finally, the board must oppose secret union contract negotiations. It is not right for the taxpayers to be kept in the dark about what is being negotiated for on their behalf. So, I stand here rock solid in my belief that District 64 can once again be at the top of the class. <laughs> but to do so, we must demand the best and accept the challenge of doing so with less. Thank you.
Next up, Anthony Borelli. I'm a little shorter than Mark. <laughs> you might not have noticed. But this is not my three and a half minutes yet, right? Well, good evening. My name is Anthony Morelli, and in order to continue the good work during my first four years on the board, on behalf of the students and taxpayers, I'm very happy to present myself as a candidate for re-election of the District 64 Board of Education. Elected in 2011 and serving as board president for the past two years, I spent the last four years tirelessly promoting what many of us taxpayers believe were and are necessary changes with which to provide the following. Increased academic accountability for our students, increased financial responsibility to the taxpayers, and enhanced communication to families in the district. Since being elected, significant change has occurred in the district. All senior administrative personnel um, have now been replaced. Uh, identified in 2010, the fourth highest paid group of administrators in the state of Illinois resided right here in Park Ridge. Since that time, the board has restructured salary and benefits of the senior administration. And over the past three plus years, salaries are now firmly in the second quartile when compared to any surrounding district, while benefits for this group has been restructured and reduced as well. Led by a rejuvenated board, the district now has new energy to change what I believe has become a stagnant level of growth. Comments like, we teach the whole child, imply satisfaction <coughs> with status quo and a laissez-faire approach to running the district. These comments and this philosophy need to be eliminated as they do not imply the two imperatives that I firmly believe should be fundamental to taxpayer-funded school districts. The first fundamental is that everything possible be done to continually improve the delivery of education and educational outcomes. By providing a constant, in-depth review of evaluations and standardized test scores with which to both monitor individual and organizational achievements, <coughs> one can determine what portions of the curriculum need to be changed to enhance and improve educational product as well as provide a measure of accountability against other districts as to the success of such changes. I am proud to say that the district, as demanded by the board, is now on a course to implement 21st century learning and provide the analysis of achievement with which to grow and achieve that elusive term, high-performing district. But we have more to do. We need to grapple with the concept of full-day kindergarten, for instance. The second fundamental is that the district goes to taxpayers to supply over 85% of district revenue. We must be an active and innovative shepherd of tax dollars so as to maximize the value of those tax dollars spent. When I was first elected, uh, I was introduced to a system that was in cruise control on a highway of fiscal debt, leading to be being flat broke by 2017. As a board member, I have fought for financial review and accountability. I bucked the system and refused to allow expenses to occur. Within the past two years, the board has directed the administration to eliminate wasteful spending and find the funding to extend the timeline of anticipated referendum from 2017 to 2021. We have absorbed the cost to eliminate lunch lunchtime monitoring fees, computers we've provided, fixed heating, cooling, and airflow. We are squeezing more and eliminating waste. Importantly, we unfortunately live in a potential violent world. We also must prepare and invest to provide safety for our children. The district is obviously changing for the better. I ask for your support that I can <coughs> have the honor and privilege to continue the good fight on behalf of the citizens of Park Ridge and guard the financial commitment of our families and educational outcome of our children. Thank you. Next, we will have Lisa Ryan come up. Um, this is for Maine Township High School South. <laughs> 